Does this look correct so far? Uh, Austin! Are you ready? For a peek? <laughs> Often regarded as the best platformer ever. I have played it once. And I agree! It's up there. It, <laughs> this game's speed is really silly though, if I remember correctly. Okay, Disney, we get it. You know, we made this. Oh, remember, uh, what is this? Traveler's Tale? TT Games, who is this again? Yeah, Traveler's Tale. Remember this logo? Oh my. Okay, okay, alright. Back before the logo was TT's, yeah. Oops. I think I played Toy Story 2 at one time. Stealing Woody. Wow. Stealing. He can't take Woody. It's oh, the compression. Oh, the compression. Oh, that compressed audio. Wah wah. Ah bum bum bum. Ooh. What console is this on? PlayStation One. if the game is taken down for this PS1, PS2 not PS2 it wasn't on PS2 uh, I love how everyone made you download some nostalgic Disney game and I was like the Robot Ninja Parkour game yeah it's funny cause like I, uh, I just don't like first person games man like there's exceptions but it's like man I uh... It's like, the game's in first person, but you don't shoot things. Yeah, but everyone shoots stuff at you. So it's like, oh god, can we just get one unique first person shooter again? What is this camera control? Does the right stick not do anything? Oh, shoot. Ugh. Ugh. Oh boy. Glad this isn't like Rayman 2 where you have to unlock the ledge grab. How do you turn the camera? Bro, really? Really? This is how you do it? With R2 and L2? This is this is some lazy design. Well, it's Mirror's Edge with the katana. N not a lot of those I'm aware of. I know, but it's set in the future. Super cyberpunk future city, so what you're looking at is a lot of the same color. And occasionally we'll put some neon lights around you. You know what's cool about Mirror's Edge? None of that. None of that was the aesthetic. The aesthetic of Mirror's Edge made it. If Mirror's Edge took place in the future, it wouldn't be as cool. Like, if it took place in a cyberpunk-esque future, it wouldn't be as cool. In my opinion. A lot of what makes Mirror's Edge neat is what, what it's set around, the world that it's built. That it's built in, but it's like, oh, look, another generic cyberpunk thing. It's like, ah, whatever, man. If you see the push icon, you can run into the object and push it out of the way. Okay. Uh, pre-DualShock era, baby. But the right stick does something. Like, the left stick does something. That's what's funny. Because you can use the D-pad, but it's funny that they made the left stick do something. Oh, stop. I didn't mean to do that. Physics. Press the jump button once, then press it again. You can. All right. Okay. Right, cool. Oh. Uh. It was on N64, PC, PS1, and maybe Dreamcast. Peak music, by the way. Oh, there. W there was a similar section in three. Uh. This brings back memories. KH1 camera. Kingdom Hearts One's cameras with shoulders. I do not remember that. Was Kingdom Hearts One really like that? I haven't played one in a long time. Did they fix that in Final Mix? Whoops. Oops. Hey, what's up, Dr. Zombies? How are you? 
I love that Mirror's Edge muted everything except important objects and locations. Yeah, and I love that, you know the only reason Mirror's Edge has a reticle is because uh, people got motion sickness. Oh, thank you so much, much appreciated. Um, the only reason that game has a reticle is because people had motion sickness while playing it. They originally intended to not give Mirror's Edge anything. Also, love the Sonic emote, by the way, and the Grim Reaper. Press the R1 button to swap between visible uh, targets, and then press fire to use your laser. Use it to shoot the- what? <laughs> shoot the catches holding up the side of the crib. Okay. Oh, snap. I love that you can see the reflection of his face. Oh, that's great. Inverted controls, bro. Remember when the Buzz Lightyear toy had an actually functioning, an actual functioning laser beam? Mariachi intensifies. Oh, snap, you have Grim Reaper things too? It's so cool. First person shooter, baby. Yeah, but you use the left stick to aim. <laughs> this is really, <laughs> this is really retro arson. <laughs> Is there anything up there that I missed? Uh, even prom. Hey, thanks for uh, joining, by the way. How are you? Whole dancing, uh, buzz baby. PS2 was a monster. It can read everything. You see, what? Um. I am Buzz Lightyear. You can smell the pixels. <laughs> you could charge the laser, FYI. How do you, oh, like to fire it? Um, a Buzz Lightyear that can actually kill people. So dumb that you see his face while aiming. I it. Like it makes sense. I because it's a toy. It's not like it's not like they would make the toy with like a clear enough glass that the toy itself could see through it. It, it kind of makes it, but they also wouldn't make a toy with a laser beam. But yeah, hey, whatever. Is this your only attack in the game? Is he too far? Oh, you don't even have to aim. Well, that's what I'll be doing. Does he have any other moves? Oh, snap. What's this do? This is what I love about old games. You have moves already. You don't have to go through a skill tree or anything. You just have them. Like, it, the game hasn't told me about that move yet. But I have it. What's triangle do? Also have a spin and a butt bounce. Okay, thank you. Um, you, he's doing the crash stuff. I miss the old days. I Buzz, Buzz, Buzz. Buzz, I come in peace. I, I am Buzz Lightyear. I come. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, Ham is sitting on the sofa. Oh, okay. Bo Peep has lost her sheep. She is on the table. Oh, there. He's just telling me where to go. Well, how do I go up the thing? I want to. I want to get the thing. How do I go up there? No time to lose. <laughs> Come, yeah. Oh, there we go. Jump onto it. Yeah, I was just missing before. So what's the lore for living toys? Did, so, did some Starbucks cashier goth girl perform a ritual in the garage of a factory and open a portal? Uh, for lost souls to possess the nearest. Well, what's wild is, dude, I don't know if you actually know this, but Toy Story 4 introduces, like, something to the lore that's insane, where basically anything can be made sentient as long as a child believes that it's a toy. So, like, someone makes a fork 
into a toy? Defeat the tin robot and get a token. Which is just insane. Oh, shoot. Cutting it close. Really, I missed. Dark Souls 4 looking different. <laughs> oh, I like that it's slowing down. Wow, Jay, you making three-year-old me look good. What do you mean? You can charge your laser. Yeah, I know. Keep playing. I want to keep playing. Peak boss design, run around in a circle. <laughs> uh, if that's true, Kid Me would would have half the house walking around at night. I know, dude. I made toys out of everything. Uh, to infinity and beyond. Anytime I hear that now, I think of the robot chicken. <laughs> Oh, you remember that, <laughs> remember that really dark robot chicken thing with Toy Story where uh, Andy comes home from college with his girlfriend and it's like, I'll show you my favorite toy. <laughs> uh, bong Lightyear. <laughs> okay, what's this hand thing? Oh. Um... What's this hand thing? That really dark robot chicken sketch. Oh, you mean all of them? <laughs> Not all of them are dark. Just push it? Oh, okay. It's just telling me I can push it? Alright. Thank you. Uh, here's a non-dark robot chicken sketch. A pirate is standing there. And he's got a he's got a wheel on his chest, and another pirate's there with him, and he's like, "Arg, what be that wheel there for?" And the other pirate responds, "Arg, they're driving me nuts." And and that was it. That was the sketch. To this day, my dad references that. Marcus and I reference that. It's not dark at all. It's it's just <laughs> it's just a visual pun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arg, they're driving me nuts. What the? I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Uh, hi. I'm I'm Colin Butt Pluggy. Uh, you probably wondering how I ended up as a living toy, <laughs> swinging poles. Why? Okay, this camera. This camera. This camera's getting on my nerves. Stop. I'm. I <laughs> like turn the camera, bro. Oh, and then it turns right back. Ugh. I can't. I can't butt bounce those. No 
time to lose. All right, can I can I jump out the house? Oh, I guess not. Sorry, those nails are too deep. <laughs> I know, right? Ah! Oh! Whatever, I don't need the other coin. He comes in peace. You heard him, folks. We need more games where you're, like, really tiny in, like, day-to-day -day things or places. Hi, Buzz. If you can bring me 50 coins, I will give you a pizza. Uh, Planet token. Oh, okay. I was about to say, how is he going to get... Pizza. Uh, my brother in Christ, what in the world am I watching you play? This is Toy Story 2, and honestly, it's not bad. Uh, it, it... It's one of those platformers that... Oh! It actually hasn't aged terribly, but I mean, there's the camera controls, bro. That that's what's screwing me up in this game. Go, Buzz. That was cool. What's up, fan fiction? Pizza. Peak. What do you mean? It's Final Fantasy. Maybe you're just high. <laughs> this is Resident Evil, bro. This is a level in the game. What do you mean? <laughs> we, we beat Nemesis and then, like, Jill starts huffing that good old copium, as we know. And all of a sudden, this is the game. I'm still playing PS5, by the way. <laughs> Come on. This platforming is unforgiving. It's too unforgiving. You'd think with a game, you'd think for a game that demands such, oh! That demands such precision, the controls would at least like, work. It's weird too, because my undershadow, like, okay. What is the point of having an undershadow if I can't even turn the camera beneath me? Like, what's the point? What's the point of having the undershadow? Isn't that so you know where you're gonna land? But the camera's always directly behind you, so you'll never need it. Do I have fall damage? Oh. I guess I'm okay. Yeah, you're right. Also, hello from my kitchen at work. Yo, what's up, everyone at Marcus's workplace? Hey, you person. Hey, dude. Hey, girl. Have you heard of my friend Marcus? Real cool guy. You should you should go out with him. Uh. Hey, we need more unforgiving stuff in today's gaming. I mean, unforgiving is fine as long as the controls aren't stiff. Like this these controls, these controls. They're they're not bad, honestly. For PlayStation 1, they're pretty good. It's just the camera. I feel like I'm playing Spider-Man here. Where where like the camera is the worst enemy. I am Buzz Look at this camera, bro. And then sometimes jumps carry your momentum, but then sometimes they don't. Hey, Buzz. Like, like my double jump. Okay, so, so hang on. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. So if I jump in the air, I can start moving. All right, you see that? If I double jump, that same amount of movement. Be can I like? Okay, if I jump, you can redirect your movement. 
Okay. I... I guess it's just a matter of, like, knowing the heights of certain things, because it's weird. Like, this requires a single jump, but this in front of me? Double jump, bro. Hey, other person that is washing the dishes. Sorry I was away, but I have to go now. Bye-bye. Okay, come back. Come back soon, alright? You get used to it. I, I don't like that, though. I don't like the... Yeah, this sucks, but you'll get used to it. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'll get used to it. You're right. I'm getting used to sucky controls. That doesn't mean the controls are good. And it's not like it was trying to be, like, unique like Mirror's Edge, where what, how, what other control scheme could you use for it? This is just a platformer. There were so many before it. Come on. Urgh. Okay. What's up here? Not that many good 3D examples. Uh... Oh shoot! I didn't see the thing that I could push until until the screen tear decided <laughs> to show me. Not that many good 3D examples. Uh, Spyro the Dragon, um, Sonic Adventure, Mario 64, Jack and De wait, oh PlayStation One. Um, what else was in that era? Do you see me missing this? No time to lose. Okay. What's the what's the trick here? You saw me land on it and it just didn't do anything, right? Uh, was this out post Spyro? I don't know, was it? Croc was a fun 3D platformer. The only thing that talks about Croc is that it's it's tank controls for a platformer that's terrible. But other than that, Croc is alright. Oh, come on with this. my bed karate jumps are you are you are you sucking me right now <laughs> as marcus would say hey, oh my god <laughs> hey, okay i get it can you find my sheep there's five missing oh Okay, this is a joke. Do my do my bullets not count unless he's like closer? November 1999, I think just after Sonic Adventure 1. Spyro 1 was out for a year, uh, but it probably started development before that. Look, man, there's better platformers, is all I'm saying. Uh, can I make this? Thanks, Buzz. In return for finding my ear, I will let you 
use the cosmic shield. I will only... Uh, whatever, man. Let me use the cosmic shield. Ah! Protect you from harm for a little while, so make sure you use it wisely. You know what this game reminds me of? Um, you ever play the Jimmy Neutron game? On, like, the PC? Not the console ones. Oh, shoot. How long does it last? Okay. I'm an Andy's Neighborhood guy. What does that mean? My favorite level, uh, the basement. This right here. I missed one. I missed two. Ugh. <sighs> Buzz Lightyear, I come in peace. Can I land on that or no? Yay, okay. Speedrun strats, bless you, thank you. Was that not how I was supposed to get that? Bless you, little kitten. Well, it's because I'm holding it in. I don't want to sneeze like... Oh! My dad sneezes really loudly. Okay. Oh. The enemies respawn. Don't think there's anything else in the basement. Uh, you can go to the garage. But I saw a coin somewhere. There's a coin there. No time to lose. <laughs> you already have 50 coins. Okay. Do I need the token? I guess I have to get everything. Go. Why isn't he climbing? Need some coins here, Buzz. Way to go, Buzz. Do I go exit level? Like, what do I do? I'll keep playing. Not everything. Uh, do the race. Oh, okay. Where is their health again? Hey, Buzz. She said five sheep are missing too, right? Races in the garage. I know, where's health? Wasn't there a battery up here? Or am I, I am misremembering right that? I come in peace. Man, if only I could see what's in front of me. I want that health. Hey, me walked home in this no snow. Is it bad outside right now? When I got here, there was no snow. Why would they leave this machine on? <laughs> it's awfully negligent. It's 30 centimeters right now? Oh my gosh. 
thought they were just Josh and Andy's parents are psychopaths. Oh, clearly. Just gonna leave the buzzsaw on. In case I feel like doing some- Ah! Oh! In case I feel like doing some workshop. Like my- <laughs> So that Andy can lose an arm. Me have not played this game in so many years. It's my, this is my first time playing it in like, I don't remember when I played this game. Oh. No! Why did he let go? This game's cheating, bro. Why did he let go? I, literally, I was trying to climb up. I play it every few years. You're weird. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that, Arson? You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> no time to lose. Come on. Okay. 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 There we go. Gosh. You suck. I hate this. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Hi Buzz, I challenge you to the to your race. We uh, we will win we will win we will race three laps around the car. Okay. If you beat me, I will give you a Pizza Planet token. Get ready to race three, two, one. Alright, dude. Let me just mash square while I do it. Dude, yeah, bro, stop, chill. Thing I don't run out of lasers. See, I knew the enemy would respawn. Come on, Jay, have you never played a PS1 game in your life? Or have you gotten soft? I've played PS1 games. None of them were platformers. I didn't like the platformers back then. That's the funny part. I've literally said on stream, I, I don't think Crash Bandicoot is a good game. And I've played a lot of them, but like, I, I legitimately do not think. And even when I was a kid, I thought that. People are like, this is like peak platform. And I'm like, really? Crash Bandicoot? Really? This one? Come on, you sucker. Ah, uh, okay, please. Buzz. Come on. Buzz. It's right. It's, okay, stop turn there. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Yes! Okay, finally. How do I get up there? Do I go on the car, I guess? Car? Yeah, okay. I hate this game. <laughs> ah! <laughs> jumping! Good memories! Go back, you unlock a shortcut. I just want the stupid sheep so I can give it to Little Bo Peep. That's all. That's all I want. Oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. I see what you mean, I see what you mean. If I go here, then it's an easy shortcut. Gotcha, thank you. Turn the camera, Buzz. Buzz. I, oh. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. 
this? This is the Dark Souls of its time. <laughs> Dark Souls has smooth controls. This does not. So, like, are you kidding me with this? I have to turn. Oh! This game needs to chill, bro. You say you don't like first person. Reminded me that was my only real gripe with cyberpunk. They teased all that weird future fashion But you couldn't see it unless you rode a bike which all had awful controls at launch. Yeah, that was also really dumb It's like what's the point of customizing anything? You'll never see it You sure? Because normal kid from third third world country could do it no problem. Yeah, because he. <laughs> I I I have a clap back for that, but I like you, Danny. So I I'm not gonna be mean to you. You're lucky. You're lucky, Daddy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want. No, no. I'll just... I'll, I'll bite my tongue on that one. <laughs> oh! I did! You can't even say I did anything wrong! <laughs> okay? Because literally, I... You saw me on the earlier one, and it, you land on one, and then the next one you land on it. I didn't... What was different that time? Three-year-old me could do this with Microsoft Flight Simulator Flight Stick. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say it to Arson, Danny. It's because you're losers who had nothing better to do than play video games, okay? I had a life when I grew up, okay? I don't know if you know what that is. <laughs> I could do this when I was three. You know what I was doing when I was three? <laughs> I was three years old. Yeah, you know what I was doing? Not playing video games. Ugh. I was getting <laughs> when I was three. No, I never, why does it have to be about women? Nah, man, it's not even it, bro. I was literally having fun. I was acquiring skills that I'm good at now. I was playing music and now I get paid to do that. It's, it's cool. You son of a. And then there's another, there's, of course, there's more things to swing on down there. Buzz. Bro. Like, I am Buzz Lightyear. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Please. Buzz. Buzz, don't do this. Yeah, save people with toys till I was 25. Bro, you're 25 and you still play with toys? I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Come on. Yes. Okay. If Buzz fell. If Buzz fell there, I. Oof. <laughs> okay, so I just have to go back to the kitchen. Hold up. Yo, did they really put the one girl in the kitchen? Did they really do that? Oh my gosh. This game's sexist. Trying to go up the stupid. Oh, this game. Oh, why isn't he grabbing anything? 
Jesse is also in the kitchen. Bro, see? This game's sexist. Lightyear. I come and be. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. I will say, despite all my little bickering, this game is fun. I, I will admit. It'd be more fun with tighter controls, but I understand that it's a product of its time. But I, I actually I actually think this is a pretty dope game. Oh wait, I don't even have to do this, do I? Okay. Just push the bucket on the other side. No, oh, got guys. it. Welcome to early two two hundreds. <laughs> Good times. We had video games in the two hundreds. Talking about you. Uh, saved playing with toys till I was twenty five. Ain't ain't the one buying a hundred and fifty dollar super soaker. I mean, hey, but I can, I can always. Wait, one hundred fifty dollar super soaker. Oh, you mean the water guns? Yeah, but that, that's that's for fun with multiple people. Do you, do you hang out with your friends and on resorts and yachts to play Buzz Lightyear? Arson, do you have friends? <laughs> my games are my power. Whoa. No, but that sounds dope. Yeah, man, that's what it's for. That's the only reason I would spend that amount of money. If it's to, like, build an experience and, like, I don't know, playing video games, it's like, I have memories of games and, like, moments in games and stuff like that, but there, it's not a tangible experience to me. Like, and this is, like, I'm being, like, serious now. I'm not, like, 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 trash talking like, like we always do back and forth, gang. But, like, it is a, it is a funny thing. It's why, like, uh, video games don't resonate with me as much as they do with certain people. Like, just period. Even when I was a kid, that was really a thing. Like, I'd play games for hours, but... Like, I have memories of a few of them, and then the others are like, yeah, it was a game. But then I hear people years later be like, oh, that was my favorite game ever. I'm like, really, that one? Um, and I think, like, the only example of that I can think of that I have is, like, Jack and Daxter, where it's a game that I, I really love, but if I were to be like, yo, if I were to rate it, it's not a great game. It's it's very serviceable. Like, very bare bones, that game. And And... The best thing about it is that there's no loading screen, right? Um, but in terms of, like, plot and characters and stuff, there's not much going on in Jack and Daxter. It is my favorite game, though. But you see how I can admit that? I've met people who've, like, they've been like, yo, my favorite game is, um... <sighs> Let me think of an example. A game that I've just, like, really this. Um... The Bugs Life game, for example. Where... I could not tolerate that game. <laughs> and I like the movie, this is the funny thing. I, I think Bugs Life is a fun movie. It's very underrated in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that game is not good. Posture check, thank you for Life. Hydrate. Playing Toy Story 2 is an experience. Is it though? Like, what I mean by experience is like, I'll look back on it and be like, man, I remember this and this and this, but because it's a game that is, like, written, like, someone wrote this for me to have this experience this way, to me, that's not fun. Compared to, like, real life where you can't script anything. If I have a gun battle with my friends, we don't know what the outcome's gonna be, and that's what's fun about it, that it's, it's random. And I'm sure playing a game for the first time, that's interesting, but the fact that it's all scripted, like, it, it doesn't... It doesn't resonate with me as much as, like, a, a tangible, a real-world experience does. And that, that might just be me, but that, that's why... That's why games never really caught on for me, personally. Something I never really talk about, but, like, the why I feel that way. I come in peace. Never really got, uh, got into games until around 13. I liked a few, but breaking every bone in my body with bicycle stunts was more appealing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like... We're not so different, Saints Flow. We're not so different, you and I. But uh, it is a funny thing that, like, I can't say there was ever a moment in my life that I was like, yo, man, I, like, gaming is a thing I do. Like, I'd, I'd play video games, but there was always a point where I'd stop, but my friends would keep going. And it's just like, I don't know, it's just... At some point, I reflect on what it is that I am doing, and ultimately, I am sitting on a chair staring at a screen, you know? And I just don't want, like, you, you ever, 
you ever come close to dying and your life flashes before your, your eyes? I really don't want that to just be, he played a game, he played this game, he played this game. It's just like, I don't know. Like, I really, that's all I did. Like, but that also might just be because, like, I was raised that way. To always be doing something productive. Hey, boss! Boss! You can move the boxes. Oh. Am I done? Level's over. Oh, uh, how do I leave? Boss! Ugh. Are you gonna go on a resort? I'd love to, Danny. I think that'd be I think that'd be better because I'm supposed to go to Alberta and meet Amy. Real story, true story. I might have to cancel though, because I'm doing I'm doing like other really important things, like including the tours, and like that was when I was supposed to go to Alberta. So maybe a resort is the better way to go. But I want a private resort where we can do whatever we want. Oh, you suck. I'll tell- I'll bring the boys, bring my girl, I'll tell them to bring their girls, and if, if one of them doesn't have a girl, we uninvite them. Because <laughs> we don't want no third wheels! Uh, but Danny, I might. I- I- dead serious, I might actually do that. I would love to. Level's over. Uh, no one wrote me being stuck on the easiest, uh, boss when I was a kid and having it beat by my brother while he was out with, uh, chicken pox. That's an experience I remember. I see. Uh, that's good that you at least have, like, like a tangible, like, yeah, I, this person was there with me. Because, like, just playing the game on my own, I, I could never... It's funny, too, because, yeah, any gaming experience I have involved another person. Like, I'll, even Beyond Good and Evil, it's a one-player game, but I'll never forget uh, Johnny. So, basically, I was playing the game. Uh, there's one more token in the basement? Okay, thank you. Basically, Johnny... I told Johnny, hey man, uh, I was playing Beyond Good and Evil and the boss changes your controls, like, to upside down controls. And I'm like, I don't know what to do, right? It's so confusing. And Johnny's like, uh, wait, all your controls are upside down? I'm like, yeah, pretty much like my walking and everything. And he's like, just flip the controller upside down. And I'm like, <gasps> and I remember all day for the rest of school, I was like, just turn the controller upside down, man. That's so obvious. Like, why didn't I think of that? And, like, I don't know what was taught that day, because that's all I kept thinking about. It's like, yeah, and then it'll be easy. Yeah, I'll be able to beat him. And I went home that day and beat the final boss with Johnny's strategy. And then when they did the HD release of Beyond Good and Evil, I called Johnny. I'm like, bro, no. Like, I want you to know. <laughs> as soon as I heard they were making HD, I'm like, I'm going to flip the controller upside down. And, uh, I said to Johnny, too, if I stream that game, I'm gonna hold the controller in front of the camera and do it, do it upside down for the final boss. I'm running out of green laser. Back, what happened? Oh, no, we were just talking about gaming experiences we had. What, what experiences did you have, Danny? Uh, when I was a kid, I called my cousin as soon as I beat Kingdom Hearts 2 to ask when 3 was coming out. Holy! What did your cousin tell you? <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll be out in, like, <laughs> a year or two. <laughs> you must have been angry, dude. Where's 3? <laughs> Come on. Okay, good. One of my only bonding experience with my brother was playing modded maps in COD 2. I hated him for almost every other day of my life. <laughs> well, hey, man, that's what I'm saying. Games can bring people together. I'm 100% like on board with that. Literally, uh, my girlfriend and I play um, Donkey Kong Country. She really likes the second one. And uh, she's pretty good at it. She's pretty good at it. Are you kidding me with this? Is more jumping? Oh, 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 sorry, buddy. You didn't, you didn't land on it, right? You suck, Buzz. Land? Okay, good. Please. Buzz, please. Okay. 
Why does he turn automatically when I hold up? I don't understand. Buzz? Buzz? Okay. Good. Okay. Oh my gosh. They're really gonna make me walk on the side? This game is cruel. Buzz? Don't fall. Okay. Alright. How come he doesn't grab the ledge sometimes? What's stopping him? And, and like, this is what I mean by like, the controls not being tight. It, it, it's, it's inconsistent, this game. And as I said, for a game that demands such precision, you'd expect the game to function. Oh my gosh, Buzz, don't, don't Buzz Lightyear come here. Don't, don't, don't come at me, bro. <laughs> All right, are we done? Exit level? Um, I had so many good experiences with Medal of Honor in the first few CODs uh, with my dad. Uh, he told me about Birth by Sleep, I think. Oh, interesting. Lots of arcade games on uh, LAN houses. COD players at the age seven and seven to eight played a lot of GTA and played all the pirate games from the P PS2. I had that one girlfriend who played League. I bullied her so much. <laughs> I said good experiences. <laughs> Uh, done. Okay, so I can exit the level then? He's a born pole dancer. Don't deny him his destiny. I think it has to do with the angles. Okay. To infinity and beyond. Oh, I'm guessing it was infinitely better on PC. What? This game? I mean, it, it's, it, it's fine. Like, it's not a bad game. That's the thing. I don't think this is bad at all. It's, it's just... As I said, the consistency. Yeah, I'll save it. On PC? Nah, this game was the exact same on PC, except I played it on a joystick. Interesting. Requires one block. Do I not have one? Alright, game saved. Alright, not bad. Look at Rex holding that memory card. I know. Alright, not bad. I am glad I played it. Uh... Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's not a long game, I'm assuming. It's a PS1 game. 